All right, guys, so today I will be testing the best money-making techniques on the Loverfellow server so you don't have to. Every single episode, every single time I do a video, I get comments saying, Ben, how do I make money on this server? I'm going to give you five, six ways to become an absolute millionaire and flex on all of your friends. This is going to be the first thing I'm going to tell you and probably the most important because this is how you make millions. I see it happen all the time. For those of you that don't know, on this server, you do slash daily every six hours and you get yourself a key. You can open this key up or you can sell it for about $20,000. But this is what I want you all to do. This will make you millions. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to make a chess shop. How you do that is bracket, shop, bracket. Okay, so this is what you guys need to do. It is the easiest way to make money. It's it's something I'm always told to do. I just can't do it on my series. Make a chess shop and put keys in there. It doesn't matter how many you put. You know, just get as many keys as possible in here. And when they right click it, when the players come to it, it'll say buying one key for $10,000. Now a new player is going to do this slash daily. They're going to get their key and they're gonna sell that to you for 10K instantly because that's so much money for a new player. So then you get your 10K and you sell these. Look at that, 20,000, 20,000, 70,000, 20,000, 25,000. These keys sell for 20K. So all you do is you click T bracket teleport and say TP for 10K is what you put in chat. They'll go to this chest, they'll buy, I'll sell all the profits. It's that simple. Like literally, if I do that, they will flood here. I'm not gonna do it because it'll one, crash the server, and two, it'll blow my money up. But the first way to make money, make a chess shop, make it so you're buying daily keys for $10,000, put in chat TP for 10K, you will make so much money. I promise you out of every, every hack I give you today, that one right there will probably be the most profitable because it's so easy to do. The new, the new guys on the server, will we'll want the money so bad they'll do it every single time. It's too easy. So the next way to make money is, again, this one's gonna be a little harder depending on how well people know you on the server. But what you're gonna wanna do is make a zoo just like I have right here. You guys have probably seen this zoo before. And again, it's nothing special. It only cost me a couple, probably 100,000 to make all said and done. What I want you guys to do though is make this zoo and then auction off your animals for adoption. It sounds stupid. It sounds stupid. Who would do it? But listen, there are so many people on this server that will just fall in love with that idea. All you do is say, like, see how there's named? That's that's a moose room and it's named. You auction off each individual animal for adoption and name them. It's that simple. Depending on what animal you have, people want. So like a cow, people aren't gonna spend a lot of money to have their name on a cow. But if you come over here and you have yourself a polar bear or a panda, odds are some, or a brown panda, if you get one of the rare ones, guys, people will spend 10, 20 K to have their name on a panda, especially if you are well liked and well known on this server, which a lot of people are. So again, this one isn't going to make you, you know, a hundred K real easy like that chess shop, but this one is still a great way to make money. If you, if you really need someone, just say I'm auctioning off animals or you can adopt one and I'll put your name on the name tag, which is something I plan on doing in my own series. That, that I mean, I love that idea and I think it's gonna make a lot of money and that's why I added it to how to make money. Right now, so the third way to make money is obviously gonna be your casino. Every, every single person on the server makes a casino, but there's a few ways a few ways you can, you know, some will say it's cheating. I will say it is being, being smart. So the first way is you can be honest and you can do a flower casino, right? If they get a flower, they get one flower, gives them their money back, two flowers, they get double profit, three flowers, triple, right? So as you can see, odds aren't very good to win. I just lost three times in a row, four times in a row. But if you really want to like do high stakes, so let's say you're selling these for 500K a turn, and you don't want to lose 500k guys throw a dirt block here and there dirt blocks don't grow flowers put it in the center you just you just took it down by a huge percentage see that every time so dirt blocks are a big now that's only if they don't know that's if they don't know how like the game mechanics work i figured this out randomly the dirt works 
the best way to do it, the best way to do it is a mushroom biome. I have absolutely no idea where a mushroom biome is, but if you can get a mushroom biome, flowers don't grow there. It'll be grass every time. Like flower these, never. You will literally get grass every single time. And so what you wanna do is come into a building like this, just like mine, build it very similar, however you want, and make very little windows, right? So what I would do is block all these off so they can't see outside and don't know what biome you're in. Unless they're clicking F3, which they're not going to, they do not know the biome. And then you make it look very, very appealing. Do something like this, throw a sign down that does five times your bet. I don't think you'll get in trouble for doing this is what I mean. It's scamming definitely, but it's definitely outplaying the competition. Now they think they're getting a three by three for a flower and they'll never get it ever. See, like, look, right here, they just got three flowers. So if we were doing five times your money back on 500K, that's 2.5 million we would have had to pay out. But instead, you'll be getting that 2.5 million. So you see the, see, see my knowledge for you? So this one right here, I'm probably just as profitable as a chess shop. Build your flower casinos in a mushroom biome, block it off so they can't see the biome, and make it too good to resist they're gonna spend all their money here. You will make absolutely millions. Now, casinos aren't just a one-hit wonder. They, they, there's so much stuff you can do with casinos. You can make roulette tables. You can make anything you want with casinos. I don't know how to do all those. I know the simple ones. And here is another one, which is a little higher risk for you, but also it could be higher reward. So the way you do this one is you get a dropper and a button and you press the button. And if you get emeralds, you get money. Now you can, rig the odds like obviously right now he only has a one out of nine chance or you could do this you know because sometimes you want your casino to lose that way more people come they'll say this guy doesn't cheat so you you know you have to play around with this one even if you do lose every once in a while you're still gonna make money like this casino right here is a good starter casino to to get your name out there right to get people to come because once you do this, you know, once you like, okay, we'll give you a 33% three, chance to win. And then people win, they're gonna tell their friends. And look, you still have pretty like, you still have great odds. So those are my two best casino tips for you is do a flower casino in a mushroom biome one. And two, do that little dispenser dropper thing. It's gonna build up credibility for your casino because people aren't gonna TP you and spend 500K. That's just not gonna happen. You have to have some sort of credibility that right there is how you're gonna get it. All right, now I know a lot of you are sinking, Ben, we all know how to make money on this server. Show us the real way. And if you guys, I wanted to show you fun ways to be a little different and make some good money. But the way I'm gonna show you right now is gonna make you about, depending on whose grinder you go to, around, I, I wanna say it's around a million dollars an hour. Now, yes, you guys, did did absolutely hear me correctly as you guys know one of our mods justin the dj he has I, I think this is public he advertises it all the time and basically it's a mob grinder in it looks like it's a magma magma yeah so you got a magma grinder and i mean for those of you that don't know how this works let me give you a little insight because this right here if you can own one of these you can make good money because I don't know if I want to expose him, but I might have to. Magma creams, they sell for 700 a stack. So, I mean, you can see how fast that's going to add up, especially when you're just uh, sitting here and you just whack it like this. Ready? Let's see how much money you can make. That, look, look at that. That's 700 bucks right there for, for sitting here. Like... This is all you have to do. That was 700. He just took it. But now, so you can be on the receiving end and do no work, hit these and make your money. Or let's say you already have a hundred million or so on the server, like you have a lot of money. This is what you do. Justin, I apologize for exposing your business, but this is, this is what you do. Ready? You put, so the drops, not all of them will go to them. They'll fall. I don't know if he's doing this. So 
let me let me show you what I would do because I don't think he is doing it. Basically, you put the carpet under this area to where half the drops will fall through the carpet into hoppers and just flow into a chest system. I, I don't think he's doing that. Oh, never. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. He is doing that. So for those of you that don't see, I'll explain it a little better. The magmas will get killed by this person right here. Half of the loot goes to them. The other half falls down onto this ice path and just gets thrown into a chest, which is right there. So what he does is advertises it as, hey, come make a couple million by just farming. And it's true because what you will do is make a couple million. But what he will do is make a couple hundred million. So it's a win-win and there's nothing dirty about what he's doing. It's probably encouraged to be honest because once you do this enough, you can do the exact same thing. You just put your chest in the center, flow all, you split the profits. Every single person who has a free magma grinder or any grinder is doing this. This isn't just Justin. Everyone does it. You just got to, you know, you got to either be getting got or got and get. You got to decide. Yeah, so the magma grinder is, I think, the most profitable out of all the grinders you can do. I'm not sure. Let me check. Yeah, so the magma grinder is going to make you the max, max profit. So if you have money right now, you're already at like 100 million, 200 million, and you can afford making this, do it. Do it right now because it'll make you so much money. And if you need money to be able to make one of these or just buy cool items, come to one of these. Literally message in chat. Anyone have a free grinder? They will take it because... You're getting $700 every time you get a kill and they're getting 700. Like it's, it's the best of both. And if I don't even have looting five on here, do I? What do I have? What do I, I have, I have looting five. Yes, I do. Okay. So there you go. Now, again, the only thing I will say about the mob grinding, if you don't own one, it can get very, very boring to do. That's why I was showing you how to do the casinos, how to start a real estate company, selling keys, zoos. Cause like, honestly, you sit here AFK, you look up, you swing, and you go back to AFK, you look up and you swing. Like it gets very boring and it can it can honestly ruin it can ruin it can ruin your fun. It can just stale out. So this one I wouldn't do unless you really, 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 really want money. If you want to make money the fun way and actually have fun playing, do the other ways I taught you. That will be a lot more fun and honestly probably just as profitable. And all right, guys, that right there was six or seven ways on how to become a millionaire on Loverfellas Minecraft server. If there's any other ways I missed, drop a comment below. Let me know how you became a Minecraft millionaire, and I will see you next week. Peace.